Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft server. Now I'm assuming you've already got a Forge server set up. If that's the case, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and push on with the tutorial. If that's not the case, you need to get one set up and you can figure out how to do that using the link in the description down below. It's going to show you every step of getting a Forge server set up and then come back here to learn how to add mods to that server. It's the second link down below. Go down there, go through that tutorial, then you'll be good. You also need Forge installed locally, so we have our Forge tutorial down below as well well for installing Forge locally on your computer because you have to install the mods locally as well as on the server for them to work. Last but not least, every single person you want to play on your server needs Forge installed both locally and needs all of the mods that are on your server installed locally on their Minecraft as well. So it's quite a complicated process here, but everyone needs to have the mods both locally and you need to have the mods on the server. And then last but not least, you also, everyone needs to have Forge installed on their computer and be playing Minecraft with Forge to join your server. So if that all sounds complicated, Apex Minecraft hosting makes it a little bit easier. Well, you do have to have Forge mods installed on your server and Forge installed locally. At Apex, you don't have to worry about hosting the server yourself. They host it on their hardware. All you gotta do is add the mods to it. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your Forge server up and running. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server on Apex Minecraft Hosting. Play.breakdowncraft.com. That's our server. It's hosted on Apex 100%. So if you want to start your very own modded server in the quickest and easiest way possible, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Again, we've already got our Forge server set up. Links down below on how to do that if you don't have it set up already. And then once you've got that, we can download some mods. Now, any 1.16.4 mod is going to work in 1.16.5. They are cross compatible. All that was fixed was a few bugs on Minecraft servers, but they weren't really reflecting anything other than a dupe glitch and a few other things that were allowed. So those are all fixed now. But any 1.16.4 mods are going to work on 1.16.5, and even some 1.16.3 mods will work on 1.16.5. All these mods that we're talking about here are linked in the description down below. We also have our top 5 1.16.4 mods video link down below because all those mods work in 1.16.5. Anyway, we're starting with World Edit. Let's scroll down, click on this green Download World Edit button, and then we're going to go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side. And like I said, Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3, 4, and 5 here, so we know it's going to work. Click that orange download button, and it's going to download after a few seconds. Now, for World Edit is a really, really cool mod that allows you to build stuff a lot easier than without it. We will need to keep this mod in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen. So World Edit is a great builder mod. Next up, we're going to be installing Xero's Minimap. As the title says, it's a minimap mod. Really, really cool mod. Scroll down here, click on that, and as you can see here, it adds in this cool minimap that you can customize and do all these changes to. Come over to the right hand side, scroll down, and they actually do have a official 1.16.5 version. So we can go ahead and click the orange download button there to begin that download. It'll finish after a few seconds. There we go, our download is now finished. We can go ahead and click keep in the bottom left, save in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, and last but not least, we're installing Iron Chest. Iron Chest, if we come here and click the orange down or yellow download button, it takes us here. We're going to come over here to the right hand side. The 1.16.4 version works in 1.16.5, so we can go ahead and click download there. You know this process, but Iron Chest adds in cool, customizable chests that allow you to add one chest that's bigger than a double chest. It's absolutely incredible. I showed off a little bit in game and we want to keep that in the bottom left. So now that we have all these mods downloaded, they are here on our desktop. Now these aren't in your desktop. We need to add them to your desktop and they're most likely in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen. Click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left and then go ahead and type in downloads. Now this downloads file folder and in here you will find all of the mods. Go ahead and drag and drop them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get these installed on our server. To do that, we want to go ahead and double click on the Forge server here. When you do that, it's going to open up this and you'll have this mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you don't have a Forge server, go start one with the link in the description down below. Open up your mods folder and then go ahead and highlight all of these mods on your desktop. Right click on them, click copy, and then come over here, right click and click paste. Make sure all the mods you want to install are now pasted in your mods folder. And then if you want, you can go ahead and start your server. I'm going to delay that a second because I want to install these mods locally as well. Now there's a few ways to do this. I normally teach opening up Minecraft and accessing the mods folder via Minecraft. But I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm going to show you how to do it the old fashioned way, which is going to do the mods folder directly. To do that, you want to click on the little windows icon. Again, that's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in run. You'll have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in this run app, you want to type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent app data percent, exactly like that. And then go ahead and click OK. That's going to open up your roaming folder here. And in here, you'll have your .minecraft folder. 
then in here you should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create one. Just title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and now highlight all of the mods that you added to your server and drag and drop them into your mods folder as well. At this point, you're good. Make sure these mods are all the ones that were on your server and you can close out of your mods folder. Now we want to go ahead and start our server up. To do that, just go ahead and double click on the run.bat there. And then we also want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. But make sure you're opening up Minecraft with Forge. So as you can see here, we have this Forge profile. Click on that and click play. I do have a custom profile that's also Forge. I just do that for resolution. We can go ahead and click play on that. And now Minecraft is going to open up with our mods installed as well as our server is starting with those mods as well. It's pretty resource intensive to start the server. So I'm gonna do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you on the main menu. So here we are, we did open this up and it did say a mod was outdated. That's okay, we know that. Don't show this again, we're good. Now, once we click on mods here, we can see all the mods we have on our server are installed here. They are also installed on our server, but uh, basically that's not, not going to happen. You know, it's hard to, you, you can't see that on your server, but they are installed. You can actually see World Edit was telling us, you know, it was doing something there. If we go ahead and click on multiplayer here, I'm just going to direct connect to our local server because that's what this is on. And when we join in, all of our mods will be active. Anyone who joins your server must have those mods installed locally. What we did with percent app data percent in the run folder and all that, that has to be done by anyone who joins your server. Now, as you can see, Xero's minimap has installed there. I believe if we hit M, or is it P? There's a bunch of different commands for Xero's minimap, and I, I don't exactly know what that. Okay, there we go. So this is going to allow us to set a waypoint. So we can set this as spawn, confirm, done, and now we have the spawn waypoint there. There's also a lot of other commands. There we go. Y is going to be able to change all of the different commands with this minimap. There, there is a lot of them. Right, so as you can see, even different like size and all that stuff, it can be changed right here with the Y menu. But nevertheless, we've got that. So Xero's minimap is working. We can do slash slash wand. And that's something that I did expect. So wand is only going to work for ops. So you need to come over here and op yourself in your server via the console. Op. Oh, I mistyped. Op. And then Nix Games. There we go. And as you can see, I've been made a server operator. Now we can do slash slash wand and get the world edit wand. As always, we're going to do something a little weird, but we got to be careful because, um, yeah, game mode creative. So we got to be careful because uh, this could crash our server. So we're going to be, <laughs> we're gonna be a little careful with this one. Let's come up here and come over here. And let's turn all this grass block to diamond. So slash slash replace grass block with diamond block. Boom. And then let's go ahead and do the dirt block with gold. So dirt Right, so with gold block, and then let's go ahead and do the stone with redstone. So stone, red stone, ooh, red stone block. That looks hideous, but it works, and you can definitely see that world edit is in fact working. Awesome stuff there. Last but not least, let's go ahead and check out iron chest. As you can see here, they all are. This is what I was talking about with all the different chest sizes. They get bigger and smaller as you know you upgrade them. So here we go. We go ahead and place down this one, this one, this one, this one. Ooh this one and this one. So the iron chest is the smallest here. And then I believe it goes actually copper, silver, diamond, and then the crystal chest is the biggest there. So cool stuff. That's the iron chest mod. All of our mods are installed. And guess what? You now know how to install mods on a Minecraft server. All the mods are installed the exact same way. So don't even worry about that. The exact same process of adding them locally and then adding them to your server. Very, very simple stuff. It needs to be done with all mods. I do encourage you to create a mod pack on CurseForge or something like that for your mods to make it just so much easier to be able to actually get people playing on your server. And they can just download it from the CurseForge launcher instead of actually, you know, having to go and install all that manually. But let's just to say you and a few friends, you can easily do that. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And come join us on the best Minecraft server out there, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have grief protected survival, custom skyblock that's brand spanking new come play with us again play not breakdown is the ip i can't wait to see you online my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace